Hello, it is Nikki Hill. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I got my Your Nail Lab by my car in the mail today. So I am so excited for this January edition. So this month was a uh, collaboration with Natalie Carmona, I believe, and you can find her at Get Nail 33 on YouTube and Instagram. We have is these rhinestones, and they come in different shapes and sizes. So that is nice. It also comes with this acrylic brush. It's cute. I love how that glitter and it moves. So I do like that. So it too comes with the tips. Then you have uh, some McCart nail glue as well as a mini 100, 180 grit file. And these are pretty long. Those are some pretty long tips. Next you have um, some acrylic powder and it's two ounces. So Pinky Promise is the name of this acrylic. So this is what this color is looking like. This one, I don't think I showed the name of this one. What, let me do it backwards. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I love this color. And then the name for this one is Show Off. So this one is a eight mil ginger. And it, it kind of matches the acrylic. And then you have sparkle. That's that one. And the last thing that comes in this box is a 30 mil poly gel in a siesta. The name of this one so I'm going to go ahead and swatch everything that came in the box so these are the gel polishes two coats of gel and I have already top coated it so here you have the poly gel acrylic so as I mentioned earlier I don't have monomer but what I do have is dip liquids. And so instead of using monomer to do these, I'm going to use these as a dip powder instead of the normal acrylic with monomer method. Now, this is what the colors are looking like. Granted, this is not how you're supposed to use this. <laughs> but they i did do three dips of each and then i top coat it and this is what they are looking like after three dips can work as a dip powder if you are someone like me who doesn't like the smell of monomer or for some reason can't take that smell due to allergies or whatever you can still get the kit and use it as a dip system So, there you have all five colors that comes in this kit. 
Here comes the creative part. How or what of in this kit am I going to use to create my set today? Decisions, decisions. Last time I used the polish, so I want to do something different. And is it the acrylic or poly gel this time? I might do it curly. Still deciding. <laughs> Hello, so I'm back. So I end up deciding to go with uh, the acrylic, and I did some testing off camera. Um, what this is what I originally swatched, and this was me dipping it, dipping it inside the powder, and then I did another swatch. And I did the pour over method with gel. And I like the results that I got with the pour over method than I did when I actually dipped the powder. So these are the two. This is the one that I actually dipped in the powder. And this is the one I did the pour off method. And although they are still like translucent and light, I believe the pour over method did give me a little more pigment and both of them are three dips. So in doing this, using these acrylic powders as a dip system, to get the best result, I do recommend that you do use it as a pour over method rather than dipping your finger into the powder because you get a more darker look. And so that was just something that I wanted to test out. And so I'm going to go ahead and actually do a set on my practice hand using these dip liquids as, well not dip liquids, these are acrylic powders as a dip system to complete this set. But I'm going to use a gel base. Here I'm going in with the McCart glue and I am going to try to glue the nails on but I realized I didn't scuff up the nails so I go back in, scuff up the nails and try to attempt to put the nail on that way. And for some reason it wasn't working for me. I'm not sure why I couldn't get the nails to stick on but with that regular nail glue it didn't work. So I just went in with some base gel and used my mini UV lamp and put the nails on that way and it worked no problem. So I'm gonna be using show off. surface take two <laughs> so I'm going to start where the nail and the nail bed meets and that is going to be my this is very C curved I can tell you that And I'm just going to use this spoon to kind of pour over. And I'm just making sure the powder is covering all of the spaces where I put the gel. And once I completely cover that gel in the acrylic powder, I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. You want to make sure that that gel is completely cured before going in. And I use a hard bristle brush to scrub the excess off because I want to make sure that there's no excess powder on the nail and I don't feel like the soft brushes do that and so I definitely recommend going in with a hard bristle brush I am repeating the exact same steps over and over until I work my way all the way up to the cuticle area 
and that is how i am going to kind of build my apex now i did make a slight mistake when i was blending the nail to the nail bed if you notice i didn't get all the way to the end and so it's not really blended on those ends kind of sticking out and that's because i didn't blend that tip into the nail very well but i kind of fixed that as i'm building up the nail but that is one thing i did make a mistake while doing this set i will say this process is very time consuming using acrylic with dip base because you have to cure after each uh coat and so for the pinky and the thumb, I did a solid color and I didn't want the video to be repetitive doing the same thing or you watching me doing the same thing. And so I did not record myself doing the pinky and the thumb, but I built it up the exact same way that I'm doing the pointer finger. So this layer of base coat is going to be what I'm going to use as acting as my clear for my phallic. And so I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds. I'm going to wipe off the tacky layer and then I'm going to foul the nail. Now, I was having a hard time trying to foul this nail while it was on this finger. It was not working for me. So I just took the finger on out and I fouled it that way because it was not working. And I was not finna mess up my practice hand using the e foul So I just went in with the hand foul and did it. Now, if you was working with somebody, of course, you couldn't do this. However, this is what I'm going to do. Because I was not about to mess up my practice hand trying to foul this nail. Now, if you look underneath me fouling, I have that uh, powder that I was using right there. And so all of the little sparks from the foul was going into the powder. So now I have messed up the powder and everything that is in that cup, cupcake holder now has to go in the trash. I was so disappointed when I realized that. So now that I got the nail all foul and buff, I'm going to go in with another coat of base coat, cure that for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to taco. This is what the nail is looking like after I've top coat. Now, when I turn to the side, it's still kind of flat. And again, it's my first time, so the apex is not really apexing like it's supposed to be. However, I think for a first time, we gonna work with that. <laughs> I think as I did the nails, I got better, but that first one was a little flat, flat. So for these two nails, I'm going to do an ombre. I'm going in with that base gel and I'm going to cover the complete nail with that base coat. Once I do the base coat, I'm going to go in with the first color, which is going to be the nude. And I'm going to pour that on the bottom half of the nail, coming halfway up where I want the colors to meet. Now, once I do that, I'm going to go in with the second color. And the key with this is try to keep the nail as straight as possible. That way, when you're pouring the powder, it's not going all the way down the nail. It's only going halfway where the color is going to blend at. And so the second time that I go in to do it, I'm going to start at the top. So I'm going to do the pink first. And then I'm going to go in with the nude. And each time you do the coat, you just switch the colors. That way you have that even blend. Or at least that's what I thought in my head was going to give me the even blend. And it turned out perfect. And again, I only showed one finger because I did the exact same ombre. I just switched the colors where I put the nude at the top and the pink at the bottom of the other one again i'm not going to show you because it's not that i'm doing anything different besides pouring the color and switching up the color and so there's no need for you to watch me do this a second time but i did show the complete process of this uh, ombre and i did about five coats back and forth until i got the color and the look that i was going for 
before switching and doing the other finger. So this is after I've done the five coats. It's looking a little rough right now. But once I foul and buff, it's going to be all smooth. So I'm going to go in with some a base coat. So this is what the nails are looking like after I have filed and buffed them. I did went ahead and, uh, cause I had top coated this before, but so I went ahead and uh, filed that shine off because the only nail art <laughs> that came in this package was rhinestones. Now, I've never done rhinestone placement so this is another first. I am just going to go in and place these rhinestones down. Now, I didn't have any photo of inspiration when I did this. I pretty much just went free head. Whatever I thought would have looked cute, I went with it. And then I just flash cured it with my lamp on the side. I don't think I mentioned it, but I am using this Model One's nail glue or rhinestone glue. And I got this off of Amazon along with the brush. That brush actually came with that glue. So because I don't know what I'm going to do when it comes to the rhinestones, I put the nail glue on the entire nail. And then I went over it with my top coat before placing the stone. And that helps to where once I cure it, I don't have to go back in and top coat again. So for this one, I kind of went with the like S-ish design. And once I get this design to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and flash cure it in place. So here are the finished results. I am loving how these turned out, especially because it's my first time working with acrylic powder and rhinestone placement. So for a first, I think I did pretty good. 
pets and form back for this one. I really do like how uh, these turned out. So for this month, my nail lab by McCart, I think it's a hit. I loved everything that came in the box. I had fun creating this set. This was a long process <laughs> when it comes to doing this, but overall, I do appreciate the process and how these came out. I think I did pretty good, like I mentioned before, for it to be my first time. If you have any comments or any suggestions on how I can approve the next time I attempt to use acrylic powder as a dip system, if you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave it in the comment. I do appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. That way, every time I post, you'll get a notification to my videos. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.